Hello, it's Camille from the Hadbird Public Library Children's Room, and I'm here today with our month of January STEAM Take and Make Kit. So, to this for the month of January, we are doing an activity related to the letter S or science. So, do you know what STEAM stands for? Each letter in the word STEAM stands for something else, a different discipline. So, if you don't know, you can look it up. I'm not going to tell you. Or, better yet, you can join us every month for the next five months. Right? There's five letters in the word STEAM. And at the end, we will have done an activity for each letter in the word STEAM. And you will know what it stands for. I, many of you have probably heard the word at school. So, you probably know. So, as is for science. I'm going to open up my Take and Make Kit. I'll show you what's inside. If you don't have one yet, you can stop by the children's room or give them a call and they can put one aside for you in a curbside pickup. So here we have our instructions. Let me get those out of the way. And we have six plastic cups and you'll notice that the top three are empty, but the bottom three have some color in them. They're actually watercolors that have dried out a little bit. And then we put these straws in here to separate so that it didn't turn into such a mess. Um, I will show you, we're going to pour water into these cups and um, turn the water these different colors. They will, once we put the water in, we, I'm going to use warm water and I'm also going to use, it's not in the bag, oh, right here. I grabbed a plastic fork grabbed a plastic fork and I'm going to use that my plastic fork to maybe scrape the color off the bottom of the cup a little bit so I'll be right back I'm going to go get some water and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set up your experiment okay? be right back all right so I'm back I have water it's a little bit warm I also have paper towels. Those were in your um, steam kit and I forgot to mention them. Um, I had taken mine out already, so I've got my paper towels. I also have a pair of scissors because I'm going to trim my paper towels a little bit so they fit better in the cups. You'll see what I mean when we do an experiment. So I am going to take, I also, I'm, let me tell you this. I You can kind of see right here, it looks like a phone. It's a phone. I am videotaping this experiment and I'm going to play it back for you. I'm going to use something called time-lapse photography, which I'm sure you have seen before. It's when you tape something or video tape something that is very slow to the naked eye. But when you play it back faster, you can actually see changes that you wouldn't ordinarily see. Even if you sat and stared at the experiments, things are going to happen so slowly that your eyes are not going to be able to pick up those changes. But when we play it back faster, it's really kind of fun to see. So I'm going to put my time-lapse photography at the very, very, very end of this video so that hopefully you will do your experiment first and then you can um, think about what happened, answer some of the questions that we have on our sheet, um, things to think about when you do a science experiment, and then um, you can see how my experiment looked um, when I sped it up on my I'm going to use iMovie, but I use that feature to play it back at a more rapid speed. And you, if you want, could do the same thing. Maybe you could have a grown-up help you. If you have a phone or some kind of camera that you can use to record your video, there are um, apps and things out there that you can use to play them back um, at a higher rate of speed. All right, so let's do this first. I'm going to take the cups. I'm going to make sure that... My cups are set up in my camera view here. So we have three empty cups. All of them are going to go in a circle. So I'm going to set them up like this, three. And then I'm going to take my three that have the color drops in them and I'm going to fill the cups up with water. First I have to open my pitcher. I didn't want to spill. Okay. And I'm gonna fill them just about to the top. And I can see it's already starting to turn yellow. There's kind of, there's a line on the cup. I'm gonna use that as my fill line. It's maybe a little more than a half of an inch away from the top. And I'm going to stir. I'm gonna to put it down so that I can 
stir and kind of scrape with my fork that food coloring to make it turn nice and yellow. And the straws don't really matter, right? They, they're in there, they're gonna float to the top. And if you want, you can take them out. You can see my yellow is all coming up from the bottom. That's pretty good, pretty good color. All right, and I am going to take out my straw. I'm going to grab it with my fork. The fork is really a handy tool. I've got one. See how long it takes me to get it. There we go. So I'm going to take that out and I have an extra paper towel to take that out because these watercolors stain. Just so you know, watercolors do stain. All right, so there we go. And we're going to put these in a circle next. I will fill my blue cup and do the same thing. the questions that we have on our sheet is when you mix colors these these are called primary colors that we're using right let's see I'm going to move over I'm going to put it in a spot in the circle here and scrape 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 when you mix primary colors colors what color do you get and maybe some of you remember doing that experiment when you were in school All right, so I'm scraping the bottom to get as much color mixed in as I can I think that's pretty good it's pretty blue all right and then I'm going to take out my straw again primary color do we have left here? What do you think? What color do you think would be a good color to add to our mixing game? What do you think? Fill this one up. And it is going to be red. Just stir that up. Scrape. It's looking a little pink right now. I'm going to turn it into red. Let me put it in its spot here. Now I've got my circle. Okay, I'm make sure it looks good on the camera. I'm going to move the, oh, no, out a little bit. So we want these to be in a circle, right? And I want to be able to see them on my time lapse. I think that's pretty good. How does that look? Can you see them all? I think so. All right, let's stir. Stir the red and take out, take out the straw. It's stuck to the bottom. There we go. I don't know, there's some good color under the straw. I'm gonna scrape that. Get rid of the straw. All right, beautiful, beautiful colors. Our circle again. <gasps> Lovely. All right. The next part involves getting our paper towels and trimming them up and creating sort of a bridge from one cup to the next, right? All right. Done mixing. Get my paper towels out. And I'm going to take them, I'm going to fold them in half the long ways, in half and long way, the long ways again, and then down the middle, because I want a nice fold there. And then I'm going to trim off, start with like an inch, just eyeball it an inch off the bottom. And then you'll see, I'm going to stick them in my cups like that. All right, you can already kind of see what's happening. All right, so I'll do it again, and I'm going to make 
these little bridges the same way for all six paper towels, right? Six bridges between the cups. What do you think is going to happen? Any idea? Well, the experiment is called walking water, right? So... That leads me to believe there's going to be some movement, right, of water. So, do you have a hypothesis? Do you know what a hypothesis is? A hypothesis is your prediction or your guess as to what will happen based on what you know, right? What you know is called an educated guess. All right, so what do you think will happen? All right, we've got one more, one more bridge, one more paper towel bridge. If you want, you could write down your hypothesis. And then maybe you could write some observations. You could come back maybe every 15 minutes and maybe write down what, what you're observing. All right, and then we can talk about um, if what you thought would happen did happen, right? And so right now I want you to go ahead and set up your experiment. And then once you've completed it, It'll take a few hours before things stop changing, and then we'll say that the experiment is done, right? When, when things stop changing. Um, and then, and only then, after, you, after you've observed your experiment, you can go ahead and watch my experiment that I set up on this camera, all right, in, in time-lapse mode, all right? All right, thanks for joining me. How'd your experiment turn out? I think mine turned out pretty well. Um, my time-lapse photography, however, my phone died <laughs> when we got to about an hour. So I thought I would take some pictures and show you what the final results looked like and maybe they were similar to yours. So when you took yellow and red created the um, ladders almost, right? Like the bridges into the empty cup, what happened? The water walked, right? So we had yellow water walking, red water walking. They mixed to form what color? <laughs> That's right, orange. And when we had red water walking and blue water walking, they mixed to form what color? Purple, right? Um, one more. We had yellow water walking and blue water walking. And what color did they mix to form, to form? Green. That's right. So that was kind of fun. Does anybody know why the water moved through the paper towel into the cups like it did? So let's look at our instructions that um, Miss Mary put together. The science behind this experiment is that water moves through the paper towels through a process called capillary action. And so paper towelers, towels are made out of parts of plants, right? They are made of something called cellulose as are plants and trees. And so the way that the water moved 
into the empty cups is similar to the way that water moves through plants and gets all the way from the ground out to the tips of their leaves. Okay, it's called capillary action. I hope you enjoyed our experiment. And if you have any cool videos that you want to share with us, you can go ahead and post them on our event on Facebook or go ahead and um, message us through Facebook. All right, we'd love to see them. Thank you for joining me today.